Good Sunday evening, everybody, from the News Channel 3 Weather Center. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik, trying on some new technology here to see if things are going to work properly. Trying to get a little bit more activity where it comes to astronomy out to you and the viewing public to see what's going on out there. We'll take a look and see what's going on across the Mid-South where it comes to anything involving astronomy. This is our Skyblog 3 weather blog online where it comes to things astronomical. Not a lot of great satellites going to be flying overhead anytime soon, very bright passes, anything like that. We'll talk more about what that looks like coming up here in just a little bit. In the meantime, let's go ahead and take a look and see what it looks like out there for the rest of the week. Moon and Regulus will be viewable before dawn. You can pick up this information in and around the area of the earthsky.org website if you'd like to find out a little bit more about what's going on there from Bruce McClure. This is again uh, from the evening. The moon, again, not going to be seen in the evening sky. It'll be past the last quarter and visible between midnight and dawn on in the next few mornings, so great to get up and take a look around. It'll be very close to the star Regulus in the constellation of Leo as we go into tomorrow morning, so hopefully clear enough to see things there. Venus after sunset as we get into the area of next couple of days, it should be visible well on down toward the southern southwestern horizon. And again, looking very nice out there if we can get some clear skies across much of the Mid-South area. You also see two other objects out there uh, around the Venus. One is the planet Saturn just above and to the left of Venus. And just below and to the left is the star Antares, which are both about to pass behind the sun as seen from Earth in the next few days, but Venus will be able to see in the evening sky until March of 2017. Again, this is all available from earthsky.org if you'd like to learn a little bit more about what's going on there. Moving on into Wednesday, the Moon and Jupiter will be rising as we get into around the uh, early portions of the evening into overnight and early morning hours. Uh, again, what we'll be looking at, the Moon will be reaching the ascending node crossing the ecliptic Earth's orbital plane at about 8.44 p.m. Central Daylight Time and the waning crescent moon will be still below the horizon and you'll be able to see that in the morning sky as it rises and as you see it rising you'll be able to see it a little bit more with the planet Jupiter rising just after that that'll be just around sunrise out there another great view coming up will be Jupiter before sunrise again around October 27th that'll be coming up later on this week toward about Thursday morning, so 90 minutes before sunrise, Venus, Saturn, and Mars at nightfall, and then the Moon and Jupiter in the pre-dawn skies out there, so a good couple of views out there of planets at least uh, over the next couple of days. And last but not least at this point, we'll go in again to, again, the Jupiter and the Moon getting very close to each other just about an hour before sunrise or so. Uh, southwest, we'll still see Saturn, Venus, and Mars in the early evening, but you'll be able to see, again, just before sunrise, Arcturus in the east, rising, very bright star on the left-hand side of your screen there, graphic courtesy of earthsky.org, and of course the moon and Jupiter rising in the east, so should be some very good views of this if if we can keep the skies clear across much of the Mid-South area. If you'd like to know more about astronomy in the Mid-South, especially in the Memphis area, the Memphis Astronomical Society would be holding their monthly meeting on Friday, November 4th, and I will be one of the keynote speakers on Friday talking about weather resources you may not know about. There's a lot of great places out there to get weather, especially apps on your phone, but there's a lot of other places that you can go to if you'd like to give this a try and get more information. I'll be bringing you a lot of that information that'll be held at Christian Brothers University in central Memphis, right along Central Avenue, and it'll be held at a CC Science Hall on the Christian Brothers campus, and that'll be at 8 p.m. Friday, November 4th. If you'd like to know more about this, all you have to do is go to memphisastro.org and find out all the details about what's going on there. So good opportunity to learn more about that. More information about what's going on with Skyblog 3. All you have to do is drop by my social media web pages at Facebook, Twitter, and also Instagram and Google+. Plus. We'll be posting a lot about this over the course of the next several weeks. And stay tuned to WREG.com slash weather for all the weather information from the News Channel 3 Weather Center. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik, live and direct from the News Channel 3 Weather Center downtown Memphis. Stay tuned for more astronomical information as we go throughout the last week of October and toward Halloween. And stay tuned for details as well online at WREG.com. And remember, where it comes to astronomy, keep looking up. Up.